so the first concept in abstraction is nothing but your abstract class so let us see what an abstract class is all about as we have already told that abstraction is nothing but where you define your abstract class and method it means that you are declaring the blueprint of this class what will this class do but you are not defining exactly how will it perform so what are the certain rules to create an abstract class first one it says that in order to create an abstract class you need to use a keyword called abstract it is similar way how you create your class you write your class and the class name similarly you need to use a keyword called abstract then class and then the class name now what kind of a methods will or this kind of an abstract class can include an abstract class can include any of the abstract methods or non abstract method that is a method with an abstract keyword or a method which is a normal method that is what it says a abstract class may or may not contain any abstract methods but there is one point if a class consists of one abstract method then that class should be declared as abstract again repeating if you have created a normal class and defined any one abstract method within that class then that class becomes as your abstract method and if you do not define it will throw you an error next it says that if a class uh, is declared abstract it cannot be instantiated what do you mean by this instantiated now when you create a class a normal class can be instantiated that is you can create an object reference for your class for an example take an employee class how do you create an object reference you write employee the object name equals to new employee which is your constructor so and so so this is how you instantiate your class so if your class is an abstract class you cannot instantiate that class next it says that to use this abstract class you need to inherit all its method that you have declared within the abstract class what do you mean by this for an example you now have one abstract class and in that abstract class you have declared certain methods now if a class is extending these abstract class or if the class is trying to inherit the methods of this abstract class then the class should define each and every method that you have declared in your abstract class and if the class does not want to define each or every method of your abstract class then that class itself should be an abstract class the next one is to understand what are these abstract methods as we already told an abstract class may contain abstract or non abstract methods and if a class consists of an abstract method then it need to first include the keyword called abstract that is when you define or when you are declaring a method it should use a keyword called abstract if it is a non abstract method normally you can write and if it is an abstract method then this keyword will be included in the method signature and it will end with a semicolon right so it says abstract keyword is to be used to declare an abstract method next it says you have to place the abstract keyword now where do you place this abstract keyword that is your access modifier then the return type and then the, your method name so between the access modifier and the return type you need to declare the abstract keyword and the normal method it says it should be included in the method signature and it ends with the semicolon now let us understand with the help of this example where you have created an abstract class how you create an abstract class the access modifier the keyword and then the class and then there are certain methods and the variables and few methods are non abstract methods and few methods are abstract methods and in the next class we are trying to extend the abstract class and then define each of its methods and then how do you instantiate this class so let us execute this program in practical to understand how you create an abstract class an abstract method and then how do you call or extend this abstract class and then implement the abstract methods so now in this example we are trying to understand how you can declare an abstract class how you can declare the abstract methods or non abstract methods within an abstract class and then how 
can you call these methods of behaviors in your normal class so first we have created an abstract class so we write with the help of a keyword how do you declare a normal class you write the access modifier name the class keyword and then the class name in case of abstract class the only thing is that we provide an abstract keyword so we write the access modifier name abstract keyword class keyword and then your abstract class name then in this we have created certain variables two integer and one of int type where e name and e address are of string type and employee id is of integer type and then we have created one constructor of this abstract class and this constructor has the details or the parameters to get the value for each of these variables then we have created a method called as public void department which is a non abstract method and this method is used to display a normal print like this employee works for lnd department and then we have an abstract method declared under abstract class so now when you how do you declare an abstract method first is your access modifier then you need to provide the abstract keyword return type and then the method name open and close and then semicolon in case of a normal method you do not have semicolon instead you have braces and in that you define what are the statements to be executed but an abstract says that provide an outline and not the detail not the implementation so it ends with a semicolon and one important note is that you cannot instantiate an abstract class that is you cannot create any object reference for an abstract class so let us see a class that we have created to extend the behavior from abstract class so we write public class extend abstract which extends that is it is trying to implement the methods from abstract class that is whatever methods that you have declared in abstract class you will define them here now so you are creating a constructor for this class to call the constructor of your abstract class one thing that anything that you define here should be defined here anything that you have declared in your abstract class must be defined in your main class right so we are trying to call the constructor of abstract class so how will it be you create a constructor for this which holds the e name address and integer eid and these three details you are trying to get it from your abstract class and how will you get with the help of super keyword right so you write super in the bracket you provide what are the variable information that you are trying to call from your abstract class the next method is your job role you have written as public abstract void job role in your abstract class when you declared an abstract method in abstract class use the abstract keyword now when you are defining this abstract method in your class you need to remove the abstract keyword and if you write here an abstract keyword it means when you are declaring a method as an abstract the class should be an abstract class cannot be a normal class so here when we are defining an abstract method we remove the keyword and then in the brackets you can provide the block of statements that is to be executed wherein we are trying to just print saying that this is an abstract method and now how would you call these methods under the main method we create the object reference for our current class which is extend abstract and provide the values these values that we are providing here that is the e name address and employee id will move to your super class that is super abstract class and then we are trying to call the department method from abstract class and then we are trying to call the job role method from the abstract class but we are defining that method in our current class that is abstract class is something where we are just declaring it but we cannot instantiate any of this we cannot instantiate this class we cannot create a main method in it to call or any of its method to call or to define any of its method we need a help of another class so let us execute this file and as you can see we tried calling first the department method which displays employee works for lnd department this was called from your abstract class the next one is job role and we said this is another abstract method 
what if I write here as an abstract, will it accept or what kind of an error will it throw? So now as you see, it says that abstract methods do not specify a body. First thing, you cannot specify body for it. So we'll just remove this error, right? So this is how you define an abstract class, right? Abstract method is defined with a semicolon. It does not include any body. The next thing it says that the abstract method job role in type extend abstract can only be defined by an abstract class. That is an abstract method can be defined only by an abstract class. So you need to make this class an abstract class as well. Only then this will be moved. Second type of error. The third type of error it says that cannot instantiate the type extend abstract that is you cannot instantiate an abstract class. So these are the three important points that we need to remember when you declare or create your abstract method and classes that an abstract class cannot be instantiated. If you are declaring any method as an abstract the class should also be declared as an abstract.